shield was used by Willard Libby to develop carbon-14 dating. Um, the, the reason he needed a shield is that basically everything in the world is radioactive and he needed to shield out the, radi the radiation coming from the radioactivity in ordinary materials. Uh, he was developing a very sensitive counter to count the radiation that came, comes from radioactive carbon in living things uh, and then gradually the carbon-14, this radioactive carbon, decays away uh, over a period of thousands of years and provides a way to date when um, the, the, the organism lived and died. Uh, Professor Libby uh, eventually became a, uh, a, a commissioner of the Atomic Energy Commission uh, and when he left academic research, he donated this shield to the Atomic Energy Commission uh, to use for one of their laboratories to use, and we were that laboratory. Uh, it's made of steel because steel is uh, one of the heavy things you can make a shield out of. You could make it out of lead, you could make it out of steel. And in, it's important that this steel be old steel. That is steel made before uh, 1945 when the first nuclear explosions in the atmosphere happened. The, the uh, bombs dropped on Japan and the subsequent uh, nuclear tests. They made everything in the world a little bit more radioactive and every bit of uh, steel that was smelted after that point w had more radioactivity in it than the steel that was older than that. Uh, radiocarbon uh, dating is you know, among the Nobel Prize winning uh, 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 developments is one of the most important because it provides whole new fields with a tool that they hadn't had before. Uh, you could um, finally determine almost unambiguously the dates of uh, living things and, and um, anything else involving carbon back tens of thousands of years with relative precision something we didn't have before that. And so um, all of history and archaeology and um, paleontology recent and recent geology, all of those fields were tremendously advanced by this one advancement. And this shield helped bring that advancement about. Um, not only did uh, Dr. Libby need a, a, a shield to uh, keep radiation from surrounding materials from getting in. He also needed uh, some way of rejecting the radiation that comes from space, cosmic rays, uh, which were, are so energetic that they penetrated through the shield. So uh, Dr. Libby had the, uh, the sample carbon-14 that he was uh, measuring inside, <laughs> inside uh, a sensitive counter which would be at the center of the shield. Then he surrounded that counter with other Geiger counters and whenever those detected radiation from the cosmic rays he would turn off the counter uh, that he cared about. And so those were called anti-coincidence counters. Uh, and that way he could be sure he was measuring only the radioactivity that came from the carbon-14.